Now the first step is to check for any outage or server maintenance from EA side. So if there is any kind of outage or server maintenance, you will receive the error. Now for that, you can go to EA website or you can go to EA help page on x.com or maybe you can go to NFL26 uh, page on x.com and check if there, is, if there are any outages, they will let you know. If there is any outage, they will let you know. And if there is an outage, then in that case, you have to wait. Once the outage is over, you can connect. Now still not working. The next step is to perform power cycle. Now, if there is no outage, in that case, you can perform these steps. To perform power cycle, shut down your computer first and then unplug the power cable from, from the computer. Turn off Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router. Connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then you can check. If that does not work, run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a racket on command prompt app and then make sure that you run this command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and paste all these commands one by one. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now run the second command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Now, once this is done, now restart your computer. Restart is a must after this, and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Try Google DNS server. Now, for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel. Go to network and internet. Go to network and sharing center. And click on your Wi-Fi or click on your network. And then over here, go to properties over here. And scroll down. Uh, here you can see Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Select it. Once you select it, now click on properties. And then select use the following DNS server addresses. Now for this, uh, in the primary, sorry, in the preferred DNS server, uh, type in 8888. And then in the alternate DNS server option, type in 888. Four, four. and then put a check on validate settings upon exit click on ok close this and then you can close this now you can launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to uncheck ipv6 check it once again once done playing the game so now for this you can click on properties over here and then this time select this here you can see internet protocol version 6 TCP IPv6. If this is checked, you can uncheck this box and then click on OK. Relaunch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, you can enable it once again. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use VPN. So for many users, uh, this has worked. So you can use VPN. If the VPN is already on, you can turn it off and then check. If the VPN is off, you can turn it on and then check. Check both on and off and then try to launch the game. Next step is to switch to different networks. So if you have any other network available, uh, you can switch to different network and then you can check. Now, if that does not work, you can use mobile hotspot. So turn on the data on your phone, turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can go to a Wi-Fi and then you can connect to your phone network over here. Once you're connected to the phone network, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to use Ethernet connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use the wired connection and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, Allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, click on virus and threat protection, scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add and allow app, browse all apps, and then go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open, again click on add and allow app, browse all apps, select this EA anti-cheat game service launcher, and then add it, 
browse all apps, select this trial one as well. And then add a cloud app, browse all apps, and then open installer, EA anti cheat, select this. Once it is added, now you can launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this, you can, if you have the game on Steam, make a clone the game, select manage, click on browse local files. If you have the game on EA app, manage, view properties, open folder, and then run the game as an administrator. So make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. You can even try to launch the game using this EA anti-cheat game service launcher, make a right click, then click on run as administrator and then check. Next step is to verify the game file or repair the game file. So if you have the game on Steam, make a right click in the game, go to properties and over here you will find install tab. Now in my case, I don't have the game on Steam. I have the game on EA app. So I'll show you a different game. This is just an example. Make a right click, go to properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files. And then you can launch the game. If you have the game on EA app, in that case, you can click on this manage option and then repair. And once the repair is done, launch the game. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct to Nikipedia. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Set time automatically. If this is off, turn it on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. If you receive any kind of errors in red color, click on sync now once again. And then once the sync is done, go to time and language, language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Now you can launch the game. Next is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security, and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart the computer and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to repair EA anti-cheat. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed, and then open installer folder, EA anti-cheat folder, EA anti-cheat installer, make a right click, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow, and then click on repair. Click on OK, select the game folder. So wherever the game is installed, select Madden NFL 26. Click on select folder. And once the install is success over here, once the repair is done, you can launch the game and then check. Install success, now you can launch the game. If you, uh, now you can, when you run this EA anti cheat, now if you find this uh, Madden 26 in the list, I don't see it, if you don't see it like me, in that case, you can go to EA website, go to the official EA website. Uh, so this is the official website here. You can see, download the EA Javelin anti-cheat installer. Click on it. And once the download is complete, uh, you can run this EXE file. Click on it. Click on yes to allow. And then over here, you will see Madden 26 selected. And then you can click on update this time. And after the update, uh, once the update check is success, now you can launch the game. Again, if that does not work, second Madden 26 again, click on uninstall. And then with Madden 26 selected, click on install. And once the install is success, you will see install successfully, install success. Now you can launch the game. If that does not work, you can select Madden 26, uninstall it. Once the uninstall is done, do not hit install. Instead, you launch the game from the Steam or EA app. And when you launch the game, during the launch, it will install EA anti cheat. So click on yes to allow. And this time it will install EA anti cheat. And once the installation is done, it should be able to launch the game and then you can check. So, one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connection issue with the game. So, that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.